Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to customize FileCenter's save and open integration. Specifically, we're going to show how to add support for a program where FileCenter's dialogs are not currently working and how to disable FileCenter's dialogs for a specific program. Well, we've already seen how to turn on and turn off FileCenter's save and open integration where you can get a customized file center save or open dialog for use in other programs. I have this program here. It's my favorite text editor because I like to take notes in a text editor. But the problem is, right now, file centers save and open dialogs aren't working with this program. They're working with the rest of my programs, but not this one specifically. So let's take a look at how to turn on file centers save and open integration for one specific program. Fortunately, this is really easy to do. First, let's just switch back over to File Center and come up here into File Center Settings and select Save Open Dialogs over here on the left. Now, right now, we've got this enabled for all supported applications, but the application that I'm dealing with clearly isn't a supported application. So what we need to do is add this application to our supported applications list right here. Here's how to do that. First, we change this selection right here Enable for the selected applications below. I'm going to select that. Now I can see all these applications that File Center is currently supporting. And I'm going to add an application to the list. So I click this button right here, Add App. Next, we're going to see this dialog right here, where we're going to browse out to an application. Now notice, what it's looking for is an executable. Uh, this is the program itself. And this is really the only tricky part. You need to locate the program that you want to tie file center to. Now, most programs are going to be found here on your C drive under either program files or program files x86. I happen to know that mine is in here. I can go down the list and there it is right there, edit plus three. That's the program that I'm trying to uh, integrate with. I double click there and what I'm looking for is the main program file, which happens to be this right here, edit plus dot exe and I would select that and click open and that's really all you need to do. But let's assume that you're not sure which one of these files is the one that you need to integrate with uh, or that you're not being able to find your program. You're not even sure where it's installed. Well there's a second way that you can do this and perhaps this is even the easier way to do it. Usually when you install a program it's going to create a shortcut for itself on your desktop. Well you can use that shortcut so let's go out here to my desktop and in fact right there there's a shortcut to my program I can select that and hit open and that's all I need to do so that might be the easier way to approach this well now as I scroll down my list I can see right there my program has now been added to the list so if I click OK I should now be able to switch over to my program and hit open and look at that. File Center has popped up. So I've now turned on File Center's save and open integration for this program. And you ought to run a couple of tests. Uh, by and large, File Center's dialogs can work with just about any program. But occasionally, there may be uh, little quirks. So you want to make sure that it's working properly before you start saving, saving files that are critical. Well, now let's take a look at another scenario. Let's say that... Uh, when I create documents in Microsoft Word, I never want to save these using File Center's save and open integration. I want to turn off File Center's dialogs completely and permanently for Microsoft Word. Let's take a look at how to do that. Well, once again, I need to switch over to File Center and go into File Center settings. I need to make sure that save and open dialogs is selected over here on the left, and if it isn't already selected, I need to make sure that it's set right here to enable only for the selected applications below so that I can see my list of applications. Now I want to scroll down the list until I see the program that I want to disable. In this case, I happen to know that it's called WinWord right there. That's Microsoft Word for Windows. I deselect that and I click OK. And that's all there is to it. I can now switch back over to Microsoft Word and now if I hit open, I'm back to the standard open dialog 
like we would normally expect to find in Word. And that would be true also of saving. If I want to save a document in Word now, it's no longer going to be using File Center's Custom Save dialog. We'll be using a regular Windows dialog like we would expect to find. So from this you can see it's really very easy to have fine control over which programs File Center integrates with with its custom save and open dialogs. You can add support for programs that aren't currently supported, and you can disable the support on a program-by-program -program basis.